just because we've had a lot of fun. Um, this one I saw on r slash indie gaming. Um, so it is a small team or single developer. It's a very small team. Doesn't ha have uh, marketing or anything, it seems like. They're just sharing on Reddit and trying to get the word out. Seemed really fun. Seemed very, very cute and fun. Like you're a pigeon doctor or something. We're going we're gonna to have a good laugh here. Is this game really quiet for you guys? Let me uh, turn this up. New game. We've been abandoned by Falls FN and the Ultra Dragon. Or Ultra L Dragon, maybe. Like Ultra Light Dragon. Ultra Lightning Dragon. Ultra Lemon Dragon. Hi out there. Hope you're well and glad to have you back. Today I want to update you on what's going on in Porcupine, which I guess is the name of the town. Again, I was on uh, I was on the road for you this week and ran into a lot of all familiar faces. Hey, you doing okay? Okay, we're reading two things now. Among other things, I stopped by Gilbert's this weekend and sampled Guiliano's latest creation, Wild Gooseberry Beer. Hells yeah. Yeah, sure, I have a minute to... I have to work in a minute, though. What are these two conversations happening? Highly recommended for fans of fruity drinks. It's more for holidays, though, but feel free to give it a try. Not not much of a fruity drink guy. I'll, I'll, I'll drink a Copperberg. I'll drink, I'll drink a Copperberg and stuff, but... Two fruit is too much. Nice, I saw part one last year. This is just a conversation that's happening somewhere else. I love this time of the year, and you can probably guess why. The Hibernation Festival is right around the corner. Could you ask the others? I'll bring some popcorn, sweet or salty. Ah, this is so bizarre having these two things going on. The preparations have already begun. I talked to the organizer. Some popular bands will be on the bill and local arts, arts will be represented as well. Plus, of course, there's the big stew contest again. I remember last year, Chloe Colbert took first place with her sage soup. Bring your popcorn spoon. Your biggest... What, what, I'm, I'm reading both at the same time. Pop, pop, there are no such... As much as you might like to believe it, there is no such thing as a popcorn spoon. Bring your biggest spoon and try your way through. There are a lot of uh, highlights again this year. Take a few days off and stop by. Unfortunately, this is the time of the year when the days are getting shorter again. Yesterday, I had to put on a swear for the first time. Crazy. Yesterday, it felt like summer after all. But I guess that's how it is with the seasons. You get used to the sun too quickly. Everybody out. I have to stop here. Unfortunately, I can't go to St. Ursula's today. There's construction going on. This guy's like really jittery. Look at that text. So this is the final stop. All right. I don't know what that was. That is just like an introduction to the game, but also a conversation we were having. Strange. That is like a wolf. And hey, that's us, I think. Excellent. A good day always starts with being late. And without Dr. Krokowski, who's busting your chops, or a broken coffee machine that is already busted. Anyway, I gotta run. Let's go. Hey, yo. Hello, boy. You're late, too. Nope, I'm just here to show how dialogues work in Fall of Porcupine. I see. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot indeed, Wolfie. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Uh, this game is gorgeous looking. Uh, really, really nice. We do have a jump. Oh, we actually do I need to make our way over some obstacles. Okay. Strange. I actually don't know what to expect from this. It looked... Hey! It looked like... Is this a spring? No. It looked like some kind of surgeon simulator or something as well. Oh, we hold it to glide. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. It's it's very subtle, but he does change his hands. Okay. We just start gliding a little bit. Hey, you. Hey, that tree. Some, some beavers almost gnawed it down completely. There he is. Was there anyone? Rudolph, you heard something? Say what? Guess the last beer was already expired. Make a pot of coffee. I'm hungover. I think, uh, just, uh, I don't know where the developer's from. It seems like just a little, uh, translation, a couple of translation errors, but all good. 
That stop won't see any bus today, most probably. You're off for today, bus stop. Enjoy your day. I, okay, this, let me tell you. I really expected when he said good day for the bus stop to say thanks. I, I don't know why. I just, I thought the bus stop would re reply thanks. I thought it would have been really funny. Um, St. Ursula Hospital. You howl, we heal. <laughs> Can you do the pigeon noise? That slogan ain't so bad. The bear. Who was that hat wearing giantess? Alright, we need to get, get into school now. Oh god, we're gonna get wet. Hospital Saint Ursula. These generic hospital signposts are fascinating. You find them at, all, at every corner point in all directions. Still, you get lost all the time. Must be frustrating for a signpost. <laughs> oh, very true. That's bad design. That's why. That is bad, um, bad design. Our hospital could use more a kind of art like this, but I'm afraid Mr. Heydrich and Dr. Theobald from the management have a different opinion. Nevertheless, thanks, anonymous artist. I'm going to make... I'm going to go over here, see if there's anything else. Any jokes. No jokes, just leaves. So it is autumn time. So gorgeous. Really is really nice artwork. The character and the character is a little bit different to like how the the blotchy backgrounds are done, like the sketched blotchy backgrounds. But it's uh, it's it's. E Whoa! Fall of porcupine, last days of summer. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know what last is. I don't know what fall of porcupine means. Is it the f the town is going to be destroyed? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like we're going to be invaded. Um, wait a moment. Uh, are those chalk dogs? The last time I ate those when, was when I was a kid. That's a great sign. That's a great sign. This lady reminds me of um, one of the characters from Agre Agrexcu. What, what, what's it called? It's it's off Netflix. Agrexcu. I, I can't remember. But she's um she's like the angry little, like red panda. Uh, good morning, Ingrid. You're working here for two weeks and you're already late. You're a pretty reckless, kid. Yes, I'm happy to see you too. Save yourself the trouble. Bad day. Bad. My coffee machine is full of mold. And the snack machine ate all my change. Quite sassy. Um, what's up with the snack machine? Any news? Did something happen last night? There's a, con uh, there's a construction site in front of the hospital. What's up with the snack machine? Who knows? It worked last night. Probably old Gregor has tampered with it again. Would you mind to take a look? You seem skilled. Didn't you just say I was late? Priorities, kid. Gotta have priorities. You gotta know my blood sugar level is shockingly low. By helping me, you help the entire hospital. I'm at it already. I'm on it. This machine is dead. There's nothing we can do for him. Time of death unknown. We've talked to his family. Before he passed away, he signed a snack donation card. I will do my duty as a doctor. To kick it and get her a snack. Thank you, machine. Due to your sacrifice, others can now satisfy their sugar addiction. Brilliant. We got something. I don't know what that is. Here you go, lady. Is that a coffee cream prickle? Only for you, fresh from the machine. You've just saved my life, kid. What was that you wanted to know? What's new? Oh, that's right. The cafeteria is closed today. Dr. Hallel allegedly tried to heat up his microbiotic ready meal in Sir Gidge's stone oven. Oh, my God. There's so many characters. I, I don't know who anybody is. Such a mess. Hopefully, you have made yourself a sandwich today. And two more new patients came to your ward last night. <laughs> One of them has a mean rush. He was really whining. Quite a shingles, if you ask me. Uh, the other one was barely able to walk. Suspicion of urinary stones. Oh, no. I don't think he's well on his way to renal colic. Uh, we kept both of them here for now. I'm sure you'll meet them today. Kidney stones? What you know, Ingrid? I've been here for 30 years, my dear. And let, now let me enjoy this coffee creamy deliciousness. What are you still doing here, anyway? Hurry up to the third floor, otherwise... Okay, okay, we gotta we got skip some of this now. Come on, come on, come on. What's in the bin? Hmm, suspicious. Listen, garbage can, you're sus. I'm watching you. Oh no, Amogas. 
Mogger's jokes. Um, do we take the stairs? I kind of want to explore, but it's... The cafeteria is closed again. I don't ask why anymore. But I don't mean to complain. Everyone in this hospital gives their best. That's that's very nice. That's a very nice attitude to have. I'd be mad. <laughs> the door is closed. The sign says central storage. Hello. That's the janitor's room. Hello, Mr. Glendo, are you here? Leave me alone. I'm taking a break right now. Oh, he's watching the sixth sense in there. And if you get that joke, I love you. Oh, no. There's an ambulance. The ambulance probably has something under the belt, too. I think even the equipment in my university was more modern. And by then, you could talk about antique. As long as it's still running, you don't have to retire it yet. I kind of like the old car. Okay. And the, the games like this, I want to explore and read everything because I want to I want to know about the character and I want the jokes. Wow, either this is the reason for the closed cafeteria or the surgeon was busy. Um, but at the same time, in a demo, can take a lot of extra extra time just running around. Oh my god. Oh, I'm feeling the, the jet lag now. I'm feeling the jet lag. It's quarter to ten. I've been playing almost two hours and I'm only on my fourth game. That is disappointing. We are so bad. Played some long uns today. Which is good. You still got to get them out of the way. When I say I've got 30 demos, oh, what I actually, I mean, 40 demos installed or whatever, you never know. Some demos could be three minutes long. Some demos can be, can be a, you know, a full hour. So really is a, a bit of a toss up. The, the average time of one of these streams is so random. Uh, I don't need anything from this shelf. Or the average time to uh, demo like ratio is just so average. Uh, so I just losing my mind. It's so random. What is our law? I think she said it was number three. Is the chief decisions office and the administration. We've got to like jump onto the stairs. Okay. We're on number three. Here is our surgical ward. <laughs> okay. Wow. I, I, I slept before midnight last night, which is the first time in a long time. Let's go. And uh, so I actually slept okay, but I'm still, still feeling it. I actually feel kind of chilly as well, which is unusual. It's chilly in here. P31. Is this where we're supposed to be going? Or P31? Like, floor one? Patient 31 or patient floor three? Ward one? Hello, dude. He's dead. Can't talk to him. You're not allowed to jump in here. That guy's just dead. This guy's dead. He's not blinking. I guess we, we're we not blinking either. Are we dead? Hmm... P32. Are we dead? Oh, this guy. He's got his eyes closed. He's also dead. Eyes open, dead. Eyes closed, also dead. Believe it or not, also dead. Oh, let them rest. Let them rest. It's still early morning. Doctors are insane. Doctors are... You, you, you'd study and work so hard to become a doctor... And then, I don't know, like, a lot of jobs. I'm not, I guess not, I guess not. Why is there a break room at all if there are hardly any breaks? That's sad for the room to not be in use at all. Uh, I guess not, but I'm, I think as a doctor, I actually like being a programmer, but I think, you know, doctors have made probably even worse. Because, like, if you're a game developer and you see all these horror stories of, yeah, we're working 14-hour days for six months because we're in a crunch time to get the game out and I haven't seen my wife and kids, you know, in, in, in two years. Um, that's that's really bad. Doctors are, are the same, though. Doctors are like that. And it's just like they, they, you study, work so hard to become a doctor, then you get to be a doctor, and it's just like, yeah, you don't stop working. That's the neat part. You don't stop. And you just keep... You keep keep up with the latest medical stuff. You're going to conferences. You have to keep studying, um, learning all the time. And then you work incredibly difficult shifts with emotional backlash, constant emotional backlash from losing patients or 
I don't, it's just such a horrible, it, I don't know, man. Doctors are a special breed, I think. Like, real, like, hospital doctors seem, seems like a really um, special kind of person. You have to be a real special kind of person, I think, to be good at that job. That's why we get the drugs and materials from the central warehouse. I don't know. Just watch Scrubs. Just, just watch Scrubs. That's that's it. You like you like the Doctor Life. Scrubs is the best. Oh no! I'm glad you made it. Um, I'm glad you made it even before it gets dark. <laughs> Sorry about that, Doctor Krokowski. I've asked the patients not to die until you arrive. Oh well, that's very thoughtful of you. Next time they might not be that polite. I will be more punctual in the future. On time. On time. Uh, well, all right. Let's start with the rounds. Time waits for no one. We'll begin with room 301. Please follow me. This way? Oh, 301. This is where our rosters are posted and the cleaning schedule. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike. I might take a look at the bike. 301, let's go. Patient numero uno. We haven't even started playing this game yet, I don't feel. We did some platforming for some reason. And now we're here. This is Mr. Henry Kissinger. Last night, he was admitted with a severe fever. He also suffers from severe pain on the right side of his body and a severe rash. How are we feeling today, Mr. Kissinger? Good so far, Dr. Krakowski. I've had a rough night and, uh, and I'm hungry. So not good so far. Well, that sounds perfect. I would have been worried if you slept well here. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Mia? Yes. What do you think? What do I think? Your diagnosis? I see. Yeah, sure. I think I... Ah, help me. Let's be a good friend. Smear. Huh? Shingles. What? Sh it, mm, it could be herpes. <laughs> Zosta, a very pronounced shingles. In fact, it is. You are right. I'd be lying if I said I expected this to happen. Let's not waste any time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. Thanks. Two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. Day's almost over already. Wow. That's a shot. I literally just got here. Come on. Shingles. Is it? Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Isn't shingles? I, I just had this giant pot of coffee. I'm sure shingle um sh I'm sure coffee has the opposite effect on me. I tried to use it to wake up and I just I I, I don't think it works. Good morning, Mrs. Kasparas. Good morning. Are those painkillers working? Yes, thank God. That was a hell of a pain. Mrs. Kasparas came to us yesterday with severe pain in lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating was also exhausting. Is that going to be a appendicitis? Finley, you're so quiet. Delighted with your beautiful voice. What is our patient suffering from? Oh, oh it's urinary stones. Please take Mia's turn. Renal colic. Uh, it could be urinary stones. Yeah, we don't want to sound cocky. Correct. Last night's exams were able to confirm urinary... Oh, no, because peeing is exhausting. It's, they're going to get worse and worse. That sounds like the worst thing that you can happen to you. Uh, the, the stones. And if you find them too late, that the drugs don't break them. Oh, my God. I mean, there's, there's keyhole surgeries at some point to take them out, right? But uh, having to pee them out? Oh, well, oh my God. Like sharp rocks, P, sharp rocks. That that sounds like hell. Last night's exams were able to confirm urinary calculus. We suspect that renal colic has already occurred. There'll be some more tests this morning. However, we'll probably have to remove the urinary stones surgically. A clean diagnosis. A little cautious, but not wrong. Mrs. Kasparas, I wish you a speedy recovery. Call the nursing staff if you need anything. Check on you later. Thank you so much. Let's, uh, come on, let's go. Next, last patient, let's go. We're so cute. Look at the little pigeon. He's so freaking cute, though. Uh, good morning, Mrs. Amit. How are you today? This is a text-heavy one, isn't it, really? Just uh, a moment. What am I looking at? Your bandage is completely soaked. When was the last time it was changed? I think it was yesterday. Yesterday at noon. Yesterday at noon? Finley changed the bandage. Now. Yes, sir. Are we going to get a little bit of the, the surgical gameplay? Take care of your patients. Press and hold down the button. Sean, do not press other buttons or more buttons than displayed. Try to react as fast as possible. Is this a typing game? 
M. It actually is. Hold M. Press Q. Hold Q. Press A. Hold A. W. So we're holding N. L. Oops. There we go. C. U. Z. Cuz. V. I. W. Sure. You see me look at my keyboard. I'm so bad with keyboards. Treatment complete. I am not a fast typer. I, I've never needed to really type that fast. When do you need to type that fast? Unless you're taking notes, at which point I'd rather just record it audio wise. Who was on duty yesterday? Mia. I, me, I was thinking I was going to change it. The storage up here was empty. I was going to the basement to get new bandages. And then you forgot about it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness in this ward. Oh, no. Dr. Krakowski, it's probably just an oversight. The entire team is doing its best, but it's really a lot. And you stay out of this. Get a grip, Mia. You're not going to get far if a simple bandage change throws you off like that. But I'm doing my best to... Uh, let's not get carried away. You know yourself how stressful it is here. Oh my god, everyone's... Yeah, everyone yell. He's telling her to do her job. I'm not being funny, but it's... Yeah, I don't want to see a mistake like that again. It's important that you change the bandage. What if it got infected? The stock of this station's empty again. Do your job and take care of it. I told... And maybe he's being kind of uh, aggressive about it, but he's correct. He is right. This is somebody's health. It's You need to be more serious. Come on. We need to have stuff in stock, and we need to be... Taking better care of patients. I agree. I agree. Maybe you could have said it in a nicer way, but still. It's his ward as well. You know, it looks bad on him as well if people are... People are being sloppy, like he says. Where are we going now, actually? Hello. I guess we talked to you. Hey, Carl. That was great of you to just stand up for me. No problem. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the damn elevator. It's broken. Again, great. What are you up to? I have to go to the central warehouse first floor. You know what, Mr. I gotta get supplies. You need help? I sure won't say no. Can you fix the elevator? Oh, God. Help you with carrying. Let's not waste any time then. Let's go. Uh, come on. Uh, it says what could be what could be wrong with a staircase, but in my high school, we um we had. An old building, obviously called the old building. And we had a new building, obviously called the new building. And uh, the new building, they say, was sinking. <laughs> and the, the staircase at the far end of it, because basically those two buildings connected over a bridge, um, to get the other side of the new building, which was the furthest out into the field, was sinking faster than the other part of the building. So it was all kind of tilting like this and this stair there's like staircases basically was on either side and one in the middle of this long building and this staircase at the end was was breaking and there were cracks down the wall like the entire wall was just cracked all the way down um from the ceiling to the floor it was very weird to see very weird to see um i don't know what they're gonna do about that or if they've done anything or if the cracks have gotten worse if anybody's goes to queensbury high school <laughs> Let me know. Are the cracks on the far end of the new building still... Are they getting worse? Are they still there? Have they patched them up? Um, where are we going? We're going to the... The, the um, closet, aren't we? I don't know. This game's obviously very story-driven, narrative-heavy, but... Um, it's, it's hard to play in demo like this. Is this the one? This is our central storage. My second home. Da, 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 da. Let's go. It's bigger than you think. Care to go first. You have a system? Yeah, I have plenty of systems. So, so... Come on. Come on. Skip this now. I can see it. King Cobra, snake gloves, somewhere in central storage. Seriously? Jokes about King Cobras. I'm tapping E as fast as I can. I do want to hear the, the dialogue and the narrative, but I, a lot of it is just talking about what I'm do, what we're doing, which I already know, of course. That's really a lot of stuff. I have to carry it all upstairs. The day's over. 
It'll also be the end of my back. The hospital is really going to wear me out. Who knows how many years my body will take it. Don't give up. So we ask our giant to take a look at the elevator. Sure. When you tackle something, it's even more broken. Let's give it at least a try. Okay. Okay. After you. I'm going to speak to the janitor and ask him. Who's this? Could you help uh, fix the elevator for us? I don't have any spare parts. You usually do it with lasso tape and a glue gun. That's why it keeps breaking down. I can save myself the work. Lasso tape. All right. I need my cigarettes. I've misplaced them. Only wear without my cigarettes without me. If I find your cigarettes, will you help us? Dude, talking about fucking cigarettes. You're in a hospital, you moron. You can't. What a douchebag. There's nothing left to get. Okay. Don't. Okay. I'm going to go find his freaking. What a. Earhole. Talking about cigarettes in a hospital like that. Like, hey, let me get my cigarettes. I'm not going to do any work before my cigarettes. Look, it says no smoking right there. Hey, there are, re are really cigarettes in here. And they still look pretty good. The reddish brown sludge must have been on the pack before. Nasty. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Mr. Glendower, hello. Uh, cigarettes, I've got them. They will buy the garbage cans. Good stuff, kiddo. And you really fix the elevator now with lasso tape? Well, you have to work with what's available. I don't even ask upstairs anymore. The management promises you that they have ordered the things, but nothing ever arrives. Maybe I'll give it a couple of good whacks. That usually helps, too. Strange. Get my back when I'm done. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Get the elevator fixed. Like, this game seems... It's... 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 It's just, it's a story. It's a story game, right? Like the, the Surgeon stuff was a bit of a mini game. Maybe there's going to be more mini game stuff. Um, and it seems very cute, but it's very, it's a narrative game. It's going to be a story based game. And if that's not something you're into, uh, avoid this. If you, if you want to like explore this world and have fun with these like cute characters, it seems very nice. It seems really, really sweet. I'm always surprised when anything works in this dump. Can use the elevator, luxurious. By the time, uh, trying to be in the elevator. Aye. You have great help, Finlay. We can use people like you in this hospital. I'm glad if I can help. Um, yeah, you should start taking care of your patients. That would be, that would be better. It's like, this stuff is probably not that important. <laughs> I know we need this stuff, but we do have staff for that. We should probably be taking care of patients. Do I need to talk to you again? Hey, Finley, you want to get fired? Go and talk to Dr. Cr it won't let me go, though. Um, okay. Oh, it brought me back. Oh, it took me back to the room. Okay. Then where is... There he is. Hello. There you are. This guy looks like the, the, the villain from Kung Fu Panda. There you are, Finley. Where have you been now? I was helping Carl. No, 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 no. Is it the girl from Kung Fu Panda? One of them's like a white leopard. And one of them's... I think the, the main bad guy is like an orange normal colored one. And she's a white one. It's pretty awesome. I was helping Carl bring the boxes into the warehouse. They're pretty heavy. It's very generous of you, but let the caregivers take care of it. Exactly. Focus on your own test. You have more than... Like, maybe if there's like side quests and stuff, yes. But we should... We need to focus on patients. Look at your smartphone. We're testing a digital patient record right now. You can download your patient information before your ship begins. Okay, got it. I. I. E. New tasks available. This is cool. This is what we need to be doing. Downloading today's schedule. All right. So we've got P31, which is this way. Let's have a look. Is it just going to be the, the holding down the buttons? Or are there going to be different games and stuff? Different little like mini games that you have to interact with? I guess we're about to find out. P31. Good afternoon, Mrs. Delwyn. My name is Finlay. I'm attending. I'm your attending physician. Blah, 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 blah. I will make a storybook patient. You'll see. Knows your abdominal cramps. I can offer you anything. No spoils, Mrs. Delwyn. Let me try to do my job well, too. All right. Let's get on with it. Diagnosis. Find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you uh, 
um, that a right symbol is in the wrong position. A green mark shows you that the right symbol is in the correct position. Symbols will be highlighted green when they're in the correct position. Okay. A symbol will not be in the correct combination more than one time. Find the correct combination within eight rounds. Okay. Okay, so of course, first we need to kind of check everything. Two. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Combination contains symbol. Okay, so now we need to, let's change two of them up. We're going to change the heart and bone. Three. I feel like um, we've one of these new ones, obviously, is a. Uh, what else is there, though, after bone? What haven't we seen yet? Hmm. Or did I delete one and then both of the new ones are correct? And actually, I need a foot or a tooth. Let's put tooth. Okay. And then a foot. There we go. The foot's in the correct position. We should have been swapping them around as well. I, I, I screwed that up. I born heart. Hey yo! Hells yeah! Best doctor. A B. Diagnosis complete. Let's have a look. This is a slow burn. This one's this one's a slow burn, this game. Just getting through there. What do you think? What am I what am I getting sent? What am I getting sent right now? Come on. Focus. Oh, I know what I'm getting sent. Getting sent spam. What do you think? I have a guess. We'll have to do some more tests for that. Someone will come by later and draw your blood and we'll know more tomorrow. Alright. You're an excellent patient. I'll recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow then. I'll be here. Oh, and could you do me a favor? What can I do? If there's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere, I'll gladly take two tonight. If I run across a blueberry pudding, it shall be yours. Perfect. All right, we've got a we've got a we've got a side quest. That's good. Like mastermind. What's mastermind? What's mastermind? And and good morning, Antares. I assume you've just woken up. How was the end of the stream last night? I uh, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't watch to the end. It was until like. 3 a.m. Um, but I did jump back to it this morning and see where you finished. So I saw that you just got past, um, oh my God, what's she called? The spider? <gasps> Miss, oh my God, what's she called? She's so awesome. Hello, Mr. Kissinger, what's new? I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my day right now lying in bed, doing nothing, looking out the window. It's it's like Miss Muffet or so. It's like a joke on the the Miss Muffet. Um, what's her name? Did you know that today is the beginning of meteorological autumn? Yeah, I'm starting my day. Uh, did you indeed? Mastermind is a board game. Hmm. Did you in what a board game where you're moving pieces into into like like the the thing that I just did with the diagnosis. Uh, do you indeed? No, I didn't know that. We've never had so little precipitation in the summer like this year. Reassuring. Um, build a little bit of a rapport, some rapport with this person first. When I was young, I wanted to be a meteorologist. I think it's fascinating. We know so little about it, and yet we're all so dependent on the weather. It can ruin our day or make it perfect. Cheer us up and make us sad. Burn our skin or make our long-planned picnic fall through. It does what it does, and all we can do is play along. I'm sure you would have made a fine meteorologist. Why didn't you do it? I had intended to, but I had some things to work out at the time. Besides, meteorologists are quite unpopular, at least when it rains. <laughs> I see. I'd like to examine your heart. Will it hurt? Lying around is already pretty painful, you know. No, it'll be nothing. Promise. Okay. Okay, let's, let's have a look. This is going to be more button pressing, I feel. Diagnosis. And this is not diagnosis. This is actually doing stuff. D O N. Okay. A. Q. Z. Oh my god. Breaking my fingers to do that. G. A. 
Okay. Yeah, you need to find the combination. It's a two-player game. One guess the other says if you have the correct... Oh, okay. That's the entire game, though? Because <laughs> that was just one little mini game. And if I had to do that a bunch of times in a row, that would be super annoying. So that's it. What do you think? There are sounds that I want to keep an eye on. Nothing alarming, though. I just want to play it safe. All right, your instruments were pretty cold. They're always cold. There's nothing you can do about it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating. Have a pleasant day. See you tomorrow. He was a nice patient, too. We have nice patients. When are we going to get a, a horrible patient that we still have to help? Because uh, that's where the morality choices come in, right? <laughs> do, do you want to correctly diagnose this person? Or just leave them to suffer? Can't believe this is only the fourth game. We're two hours in. Hello. How are you, Mrs. Amit? Oh, much, much better. The pain kills have me floating. I'm glad to hear that. Could I have maybe have some more of that? Well, if it's not absolutely necessary, then no. Oh, it's too bad. And under the table for later, <laughs> Mrs. Amit. It's all right. My family doctor is more relaxed about it than you are. You won't need any more painkillers, I promise. I'll take expe extra special care of your treatment. All right, I'll take your word for it. Let's go. Oh, my God. Let's go. I want to do another diagnosis. It was fun, though. The Mastermind game was fun. V. A. K. N. It's an old game. C. N. H. Treatment complete, baby. We're done. We're done for the day. Surely that's... We, we've got to move on to another demo soon. We've been playing this one for a long time. Uh, I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Okay. Like, this... this it's it's a text-heavy one, but, I mean, it is a narrative game. It's it's an interactive fiction, it says on the Steam page. It's it's a story game. That's that's the point of it. We, we do do these, and I do go through them on the demo streams. I do go through games like this on the demo streams. A lot of people may find them very dull, but I don't think it's very fair to just avoid them completely just because um uh just because it's you know a, a different genre of game we still have to go through them um i do try to split them up though because they can be a little slow and uh, it's kind of hard to chat or do anything you know if i'm like trying to play a difficult game and plan to a platform or at least we can kind of talk about it and like we can rage a little bit and we can we can have uh, have a laugh together but when i'm doing games like this you really just have to read read out and um it is definitely a little weird did you take care of all your patients yes all taken care of put your mind to it finley you haven't been with us long but i see potential in you don't underestimate this job don't underestimate your responsibility maybe then you'll make it here go home now you have a late shift tomorrow then i want to see what you're made of have a nice evening all right we did it we're going to go out of the hospital, and if that's not the end of the game, I'm going to make it the end of the game. Um, yes. So, floor one is not the ground floor. There's actually ground floor. Because some buildings, they have their ground floor called floor one. I don't know where. It's different countries have different um, ideas about that. Like in American buildings... I honestly, personally think it's the stupidest thing ever, but there, there, there aren't floor 13s in some buildings because they, it's like superstition. So they don't have, they don't call a floor 13. You have floor 12 and floor 14. I, I don't know if, if they understand this, but just because you don't name a floor, floor 13 doesn't mean you don't have a floor 13 it just means the 14th floor is now the 13th floor and you've called it 14 it's the stupidest thing i've ever seen in my life i can't believe that superstitions like that affect architecture like civilization architecture and we have to change the name of floors it's so stupid hey already in the mood to go home ready for the end of the day ready for my bed what? No, 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 no. Come down. We'll have a drink. One drink. That'll be five. Easy. Don't be a pie pooper. All right, but we'll take me with her. She's had a hard day. 
I, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it. We couldn't be going on for this for ages. We can go have a drink with the team and stuff. It seems like a really sweet game. It's absolutely gorgeous to look at, and I love the character design. The gameplay is like a bunch of little mini games, which seems very cute as well. Very nice, very fun. I'm sure it's gonna open up a lot more as well. It looks like on the Steam page we go to a town, um, and, and we can explore all of there and, and meet a bunch of other people as well. I'm sure there's all sorts of side quests and secrets and, and, and things to do. It seems very cool. It's called Fall of Porcupine. If you do want to explore it a little bit more on your own, I would encourage you to do so. It's available, obviously, on Steam for free. Fall of Porcupine 3. A very solid middle of the ground, a lot of, uh, middle of the road, very fun. Um, but it is that kind of slow paced game, just reading through on your own. You know what I mean? This is a relaxed game. This is something I'd like on the switch that you could kind of, uh, you could kind of lay back and read through. It actually also says Q4 2022. So <laughs> it's a little while out. Let's put it that way. That's fall of porcupine. Let's close that out.